Hello everyone, welcome on back to Edgewater Saskatchewan. So in today's video, we're going to be selling the flax. Uh, oh, I already loaded up into the, into the truck. We'll have to be getting that done. I did load the corn into a silo. Um, we're not going to be selling it. We will be turning basically all of it into the mixed ration. Uh, so we'll have to probably look to get a mixer at some point. We do have, what, three hay bales? This bale that I forgot to sell. Um, yeah, last video, I was selling all the black straw bales and forgot that one because I was seeing if I could use it. We're, I'm hoping to plant at least one field today. I'm thinking it'll probably be this one up here, number 10. Um, there was a recent update to the map. Uh, it's supposed to fix the train spline, so, I mean, my fix for it probably worked for in the meantime, but, um, so hopefully that fixes it permanently and don't have to worry about that issue anymore. And then they also adjusted the yield, as I can't drive, of the lintels. Actually, I didn't look where I should bring this. So I want to be putting that in a nice one. Kind of, I should bring it to the train, but I also kind of want to go somewhere else. There's a fast food restaurant, for example. Curious where it is. It's up here. Yeah, I think I'll bring it up there. I know it's a less price, but I do want to explore the map some more. For the most part, we've been stuck in this little area. I think for bigger crops, like, I mean, let's say when the peas are done, the high price will probably be by the train. Probably be smart to use the train then. But for this, where it's not a huge, huge, huge difference, um, we'll, we'll, we can explore the map a little bit more. Which that, the pea, pea field does need to be sprayed. It's not ready to harvest yet, so I'm probably going to hold off a little bit and at least do like two fields at a time. And I was thinking about buying a production today. Oh, I got to raise this up. Forgot about that. I was heavily considering the dairy. Uh, we can't afford the, the grain mill. And even once we are able to, which we should be able to after the, the selling of this. Is it worth it? Ooh, nice little small town. Construction. Which is kind of weird to see during January. That's usually the summertime. Usually how it works. Get the, get the winter, then all summer it's construction of fixing the roads. Then after the winter, the potholes come back. Then they fix it again. Just keeps going and going. Yeah, our uh, um, environmental score is 96 right now. We're getting 14% bump. Even though the milk is actually at a high price right now, but we'll you know, use that elsewhere. We can probably sell this towards the end of the video. It's a thousand bucks with a thousand bucks. But that's why I'm really wanting to get the total mix ration going is so we can get even more milk production from uh, from the cows so we can well, put it all into the dairy so that's the hope but I think what I'll do I'll go and probably uh, we'll start planting that one field We'll get that done, and then we'll probably hook up to the tanker, fill it up with the milk, we head right over to the dairy, and get that bought. I haven't looked at the sales today. I probably should have checked on the road, but it'd be nice. Only six hours. That is practically brand new. It's 40, 
46 percent off but we are unable to to afford that Two hundred thousand is a long way out and we're not even near that with with everything sold probably well with everything sold we probably would have it but somebody behind us oh, oh. but i don't want to sell everything just for that we do want to get it in, get into productions I think that's going to be one of the focuses on any, like, map series. I think it'll be productions and showcasing the map and unique features over um, just the farming simulator aspect, I guess. If that makes any sense. Doing things that we can't do in every other, you know, series necessarily. Things that we can kind of have a little bit more money. We do have the hay that should be bailed up at some point, too. That'll be quite a bit. We're not in desperate need of it, but... Alright, let's take this onto the backfield, and it should... As far as I know, they've uh, updated the precision farming, or did, did an update with that. So we should be seeing the variable seed rate and everything now. It looks like there is, so that is a nice addition with the update as well. But yeah, I'm hoping to be able to spray at least two fields. Oh, I, we still have the bale. I completely forgot about that. I'm not even gonna lie. We have, you know, $50,000 just sitting in our field, and I completely forget about it. Let's go to the John Deere. This will have the, uh... Let's be able to go and pick up the trailer. Granted, I logged in today and, you know, was looking around, and I realized I forgot to return the header, the corn header. So I got another by daily fee on that. Oh. At least with the trailer, it was kind of my fault, so. But yeah, the header, that, that shouldn't have happened in a sense. I would look for harvesting contracts or something in a different area, but we got quite a bit going on right now. All right, here we are. We uh, picked up the trailer so we can get this picked up, put away in the storage, away from the weather, you know, it's already been on here a little ways now, a little bit of time. I never actually used this, so I'm not sure how to, uh, oh, use it. I doubt it's like an auto load. Oh. Kind of is an auto load. Yep, put straps on too. No, okay. well, that was easy, you know. G gotta get a special trailer for one bale. The trailer only holds one too. It's still, uh, it's still pretty dark out. It seems. The weather doesn't help, but I did turn the snow off just because our first winter was either disappointing in a sense. I was kind of expecting there'd be a lot, and there wasn't really. I believe they did did a bit of an update on that. It was a fairly sizable update. They've they did quite a bit with it, which is good. It's a good map, and uh, it, you know it, it needed an update, especially on the the train. And there's a little you know, glitches and stuff that may have not gotten uncovered in, in testing, but get uncovered. And and there's thousands of people trying to play the map at the same time, or trying to play it. You know, they they find different things that you don't always notice when you're trying to test it yourself. More eyes. Rise looking at different things. 
does not require additional fertilizer. We will not be using any fertilizer, at least. By a fairly low seed rate, too, it looks like. I think this field is primarily loam. I believe where I'm at. Yeah, loam and a little bit of sandy. Sandy loam. Primarily. I was thinking in the field that did corn last year, we'll probably do it again. Um, I'm not sure how much corn we'll end up using for the, the, the mix. So I'd rather have extra. We probably won't be able to get the mixer right now, I don't think. It'll be tight. I'll have to look. How much uh, mixers are. It's so enticing. For so little hours, it's practically brand new. It, this is not miscellaneous. These are the drive ones. Those are a little bit out the price range. Um, Animals. Got this one. That is 12,000 liters. It's 18,000 liters. We could do a smaller one like that. And we probably would have the amount we would need. I guess this one would do, does it as well, but smaller than this one, so. We'll see how much money we have. That'll be the, the, the deciding factor on what we can get. I think they're at 20,000 liters right now of hay, so. Once they start getting a little bit lower, we'll have to really think about getting that. Maybe next video, we'll have to get the hay, hay all bailed up and increase the production. Now we can increase the end product for the dairy. Which the dairy is it makes butter, cheese, and chocolate, I believe, are the three. Um, we won't be able to do the chocolate unless I place down my own sugar factory, though. That does require sugar, and I can't find a sugar mill on the map. Um, my assumption is, again, I don't think sugar can't get grown in Canada. So would have to do that if we were wanting to do it but I would say between the butter and the cheese we can definitely do quite a bit there I never actually looked how much like the flowers sold for so I'm sure you can sell sell those 2,000 hmm So, yeah, the, the thing is with, like, flour, the main reason you get the grain mill is for the flour. So then you can turn it into bread, cake. And there's also the other mod, uh, mods that can take the flour. I know, I'm pretty sure there's a pizza one. I think there's a cookie one for different mods. Which, the cake take, takes a lot of different ingredients. We're a little bit of ways from being able to afford that. Well, what I think I'll do is I'll go ahead and time lapse the rest of this field. Get it knocked out pretty quick, and then we'll uh, load up the milk, and we can bring it right over. Well, buy the dairy. We can buy the actual dairy uh, store, and then we can put our milk into there and we can start getting a getting either butter or cheese I haven't decided which one we'll probably you know flip it in and out depending on you know how we're feeling I'll talk to everyone uh, at the other other end of that
Welcome back, everyone. We should just have this final strip. We got one strip over there, but... Unless I missed some here. Good. Yeah, looks like we did a pretty good job. And one of the things I would like to change a little bit, uh, at least with this series, is I'm going to be doing a little bit more work and not having workers do, well, basically everything. It's just a few things I, I've thought of, like, oh, man, I, you know, when I'm editing and watching back the videos, I'm like, God, I have, I have workers do a lot. So I'd like to change that a little bit. Yeah, I uh, actually planted their field, too. Kind of curious is does it actually say it actually says oh yeah it says lintels in a couple spots and also says canola so whoopsie I don't know why that worked because we don't own that field but it did for some reason so we'll be going to grab the semi I'm gonna forget that uh that going and brought over to the dairy. I think we're going to be putting quite a bit of money into that. I think that's going to be our long term where we're going to be making our, our, our money from. Our dough perhaps, but not from a bakery. You know? Uh, we'll put this. The next field that would be planted would probably be this one. But it may not be that one. Oh, we can turn the lights off. We may uh, put something else too in one of the fields. I wouldn't mind doing like a sugar beet, but or a potato. Potatoes would be be something. A lot of that does require specialty harvesters. So we'd have to well, make sure we can afford all of that stuff to go along with it. I think potatoes require a uh, separate or a special planter as well. Axe. Potato. Potatoes. Yeah. So unless we had a uh, special planter, these I think are any uh, looks like uh, sugar beets the same. I even see a planter. Oh, here we go. Sugar cane is a specialty one as well. It's kind of the unfortunate is a lot of it's specialty stuff now. So unless there's a planter that does potatoes. Which I doubt there really is. A lot of them do, do sugar beets. But I doubt there's going to be much doing. <laughs> doing that will be completely separate, I would imagine. This does everything. Everything under the, the sun. Oh, well, all type of potatoes. Everything but potatoes. Which is fair. That's what well, we might be turning some of our profits right into getting even more cows. I'm not actually sure how full the pen is. I think we have like 30. If I remember right. And I did try the straw into that the centerpiece there where we... Uh, Put the hay. It it didn't take it there either. Well, if anybody's wondering, I've already tried that. So. So we'll see how many we got. Thirty-eight. So maybe in the future we can get a couple more. Go heavy into that. All right, we're getting on close to the, the dairy. I took the 
wrong way. I could have probably went through the, that way. Would have been more of a with a correct route. Now this is the default like one with the map for the dairy. We'll have to see. How much was the bakery? Fifty thousand. So yeah, the mill was close to a hundred thousand. So we're quite a ways from that. I would say I can buy the dairy. We're missing material. Who knows? <laughs> I assume we dump it right in the back spot right back here. We can get a move on with that. Oh, the pallets must be back here for spawn. Which does make sense. You probably wouldn't have it spawning right out the front. You can look at the production for it. Yeah, we do not have sugar, so we have no no chance of doing that. Usually these are pretty similar in what the outcome of, of the product is. We could do both, I guess, for now. Why not? Yeah, we can do both of the, the different ones for now. And I would assume they kind of sell at different times. So butter high point is like September, January. Cheese is September, January. They're about the same. But we'll keep having the two separate ones. It really won't matter too much. Well, there we have it. That's our brand new, brand new business. We're, we're officially a business owner. It's, a, it's you know it's a small start, but we can uh, you know we'll end up being able to sell it to different places, which should be. Lost to go other places in the map, which will be nice. Well, what I think I'll probably do, I'll have to probably get the... Um, that one field planted, that'll be... One way we can start, you know, finishing things off with that, that'll be... Good to get things done, at least. That'll be needed to be done. I like to get at least multiple fields done once we're uh, talking time to start spraying them. That way we can hit multiple at the same time and not just do one and we put it back in storage and do two more. Uh, I am not good at this at all. <laughs> then we'll probably finish it. We'll take probably the John Deere and we'll take it over and tell, sell the, the one final remaining bale that we forgot to do last video. Then, uh, oh, had the uh, super strength on. Can get this out of the way. I don't think we'll do flax again. We got a decent amount of money from it. This isn't the greatest land, soil wise. Put this towards the middle over here. Yeah, I just noticed while I was uh, looking to see what this uh, could plant, it looks like there's a green. Oats icon. I'm not sure what that is. For green feed oats. Did they add a new crop in the recent update that I didn't see? I'm going to go and check, actually. We'll save this and I'll go and check because I don't remember there being one. Alright. I, uh... 
I went and checked. They did add it. It says it turns to grass when mowed. I think it was what it said. So I think what I'm going to do, I don't think I saw it in here. I don't, we must not be able to sell it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it in here. At least that I see. So I'm going to plant it. I kind of just curious at this point. <laughs> like, what is it? You know, what does it end up looking like at the end product? Does it say green feed oats or whatever? Yeah. Worst comes to worst, what we'll end up doing is... Uh, turning it to silage or something. Kind of wish I could just try it on a small little field. Without uh, putting it into one... Or actually, probably two bigger fields. If I could get around this corner, I might split this field up a little bit. I can just put, you know, probably lintels in the other half or something like that where we already are putting it into the one field so it's not like it's inconvenient. And just harvest at the same time. So I'll put, uh,. Here, we'll put all green feed oats into this, and we'll put a little bit of lentils right there. Worst comes the worst. Like I said, we can turn it right into silage. I don't think we're that desperate in need of hay. But if we do get a lot more cows, which we may if we really took take a really... You know, Look really a lot into the dairy production and really take a full advantage of the, the amount of money you can make from that, then we probably would use more hay. I'm just, you know, curious on what it looks like and all that. I didn't see much about it when it first uh first was updated. I'm even I even watched a video uh of someone going through some of the updates and I was like, What? I, I didn't even hear about it then, but must not pay attention that much, clearly. So I think what we'll end up doing, if we're using a lot of seeds, I suppose. This is not great. Great land. I'll uh, do a little bit of a time lapse to finish this off. We'll finish this field. And we'll do the little bit of lintels in that one. That way we can, you know... Finish, uh, finish this fairly quick and not just watch me drive in circles in real time. everyone so i am currently driving all over the place and making more work for myself uh yeah so uh i left a little bit of a uh, line in the middle so it hopefully doesn't you know if you have a worker hopefully it doesn't confuse them hopefully it doesn't confuse the combine um, just because i'm not sure how the green oats look at harvest if we use a harvester are they just oats and then we can mow them and make them into grass 
Does that even does that work with the swathing equipment? That would be another thing. Yeah, this should be all we need this for, since we'll use uh, a planter for that other field. I'll have to get the hay bale. Probably next video I'll have to get that. And of course, we have our uh, John Deere and everything in there, so can't put it away. I probably should have at least put it in correctly there and backed it in. Oh, we'll pick up the trailer and we can bring our lone our lone uh, uh, bale. I believe it was a spinnery when I looked earlier was the highest priced. Yeah, we'll probably end up needing to actually do the uh, oh, it's over here. Picking up the hay next video. We're going to be pretty low, I'd imagine, pretty soon. Make sure and strap this, strap it down pretty well. Don't want our lone bale to go anywhere. Let's see here. It is currently highest at the livestock bale auction. Take a look, see if they're all the same price. The livestock bale auction is basically where we've been. We haven't been to the spinnery, though. It's not much of a price difference. We'll just bring it to the spinnery and... We'll finish it off that way. We really need to get a, po a power washer, too. We can wash this. This thing looks dirty as heck. But the spinnery is like almost all the way on the other end of that map over there. I should watch where I'm going. Okay, how's the uh, dairy going too? 200 liters of butter, 82 cheese right now. Should be getting quite a bit of hay too when we uh, bail it because we did do it with the swather, so I'd imagine we get a 20% bonus then. Unless it's only with the pickup header. I don't know. Really swathing it and then bailing it's the same amount of effort as mowing and uh, um, windrowing it and all that. Maybe a little bit, a little bit less, I guess. I would like to come up this direction some and do some uh, either contracts or buy a field somewhere kind of away from our farm. Much as I know it's probably going to be kind of sucky to drive a combine all the way up there, but we also kind of want to see different parts of the map. And well, you know, I was going to get a chance to go go up there. Let's see here, we got a looks like we got to keep going. Sign out. Oh, must be. Must be something. A green place bell over there. Oh, we gotta go over here. Sorry, sign. I assume it's around back. There we go. Yeah, well, I'm kind of curious what's over here. You know, curiosity. Looks like there's a building right up here as well. Oh, it's right at the uh, end of the maps. So they we did decorate some on the areas you can't actually get to.
Maybe it's the, it's the sugar meal. Wouldn't that be something if we found that? H and H milling group. So what is it? Up here, it is a northern mill. I don't see a buying spot, so it's probably not not anything we can buy. Just another selling location. I think this is... Uh, there's a couple selling spots up here, I think. That's a lot of it's a town, really. It's a small town, but it's a town. We got a diner. Sign out professional hand-painted signs. Got a gas station, too. Suppose we can fill up while we're here. Looks like a building over there. Is that like a fire station? Yep. Fire station. Just a little, little tour of the town. So we got a fire department. Laundromat. Some random building. This is like church. What the stone crusher actually here? So I would assume it's not or, or debris crusher, I should say. So some sort of business. Oh, first thing I, I saw, I was like, "Oh, that must be a church." It's not. The road up there goes. Looks like nowhere from what I can see on the map. building there and we have Cody's toy store oh the small little 26 field yeah that is really small that is quite small couple houses we have like a barn and a house up here Well, I think that's about everything t for today. I say it's a fairly decent spot to close out the video. So, uh, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video.